Hey guys, this is Amit from MacMan's Crew Connections. Quick tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Apple ID. You'd use this Apple ID to buy apps, music, movies, and games from the iTunes network directly on your iOS device or on your computer. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your preferable web browser. Uh, we are going to use Safari, located right here. Once in Safari, just go to the top of your page at your URL and type in www.appleid.apple.com. Uh, once you're in that website, you're going to see several different options. You're going to see manage your Apple ID and create an Apple ID right here. So go ahead and click on create an Apple ID. Once in there, it's going to ask you to enter in your email. This is your personal email which you use to send and receive all the time. When you do enter in your email, you are going to see it is going to have several different notifications on the side of it. Make sure that it's a valid email, that it's not already used, and it's not a domain name by Apple. At that point, go ahead and put in a password that also has those same type of criteria. It has to have a capital letter, a number, and at least eight characters in it. Once you do type in your uh, password, go ahead and retype it. And then go down a little bit to where it says security questions. Uh, there's going to be a long list of different security questions you can choose from. Make sure to pick one that you think would be easy enough for you to remember and make sure you write it down. Because once these are entered, those cannot be changed without the correct answer placed. For instance, name of your best friend. Let's just type in MacMan. So then if we scroll down a little further, it will ask us for our birth date. So go ahead and enter in your birth date. I don't think you'll have to write that one down. And once that is entered, it's going to ask you to fill in all your personal information, like your name, uh, your address, um, your town, all of that different information. Your town. So once you're done filling in all of your own personal information and you scroll down a little bit, you will see uh, it to ask you if you would like to communicate with Apple by getting their newsletter or get email updates about software and everything else like that. So go ahead and check that or uncheck that how you want. Uh, right below that, it's going to ask you to please enter the characters you see in the image below. This is just to verify that you are a person and not a robot. So once you enter those characters, it will ask you if you read and agree to Apple's terms and conditions just go ahead and check that if you have and hit this create Apple ID button once you do press the create Apple ID button you will get a spot that says verify your email to complete the Apple ID setup at this point go ahead and go to your email and you'll get one from Apple that looks a lot like this you'll see the verify now spot Go ahead and click on that and go ahead and add your Apple ID and password that you just created moments ago. And once you're done filling in that information, you're going to see the spot that says verify address. Um, so go ahead and select that. And it's going to say your email address is verified. At this point, the Apple ID is created. Uh, when you do first go into the iTunes store to buy a music, movie, or an app, it will ask you to fill in further security questions and ask for credit card information to be tied to the account so that if you do purchase anything, it can uh, charge that account. But besides this, everything is ready to go. I hope this was helpful. Until next time, you guys have a good one.